Uh, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about singing and playing. I'm a guitar player who learned how to sing, and uh, some people are singers who learn how to play guitar. And some people just play guitar without singing. A lot of people do that because they're embarrassed about their voice or whatever. And uh, a lot of people have trouble singing because they've been told that they can't sing by brother or sister. In my case, it was the fourth grade choir director and my brother uh, many times over and over. And you kind of, uh, you, it, it's a very vulnerable thing to sing. But I want to encourage you to sing because everybody can sing. And most of us, if you think about what's on your iPod or your, uh, your CD collection, it's usually not as many classical singers and formal great singers as it is people that sound human and have a nice, just sound like somebody personable. And that's what you sound like yourself. And that's what's important. As far as singing, what you need to do is sing in tune. You need to breathe at the right time so that the words make sense. And you have to understand what you're singing so that you, you, your message comes across sincerely. And that's really about it. Pitch, breathing, and live the lyrics. It's hard to play guitar and sing, though, because of the synchronization of the rhythms. So I want to uh, give you a little demonstration of what I'm talking about. If we could take a simple song, uh, he's got the whole world in his hands. Okay, I'll do it in D. So, here's the way we'd sing it. You sing. Yeah, I'll do a simple song. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world. So when I sing, I'm not really singing the same rhythm as the guitar. I'm syncopating. I'm playing off the beat. The guitar is more on the beat. I'm generally singing ahead of the beat. Let me sing it without that and you'll probably hear it. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole Sounds pretty square, doesn't it? Pretty stiff. And the singing, the rhythm of the singing, I visualize it dancing around the guitar rhythm. The guitar is just as steady as can be and stays steady. And the singing kind of dances around that. And of course that means you have to have your guitar part pretty solid and not be thinking about it so that when you play you don't have to concentrate on your strumming or when to change chords. It's a good idea to memorize the chord shifts, get the shifts, then memorize the strum, put those two together. Learn the melody, learn to sing it, sing that by itself, learn some of the words, and then you do all three things at once. So learn them independently, and then as you get more comfortable, you'll start that syncopation by yourself. But that's what throws off people when they're normally strumming. That and the fact that they stop to make the chord shift. They'll go. Okay, A chord, and then they shift. You know, it's too late now, the rhythm's lost. So with the shifting, you gotta think ahead. Here it comes. You can move ahead. I'll shift earlier. Shift now. Shift now. So I can get away with it as long as I keep the rhythm going. And the singing, very similar. It's a good idea, a great idea, is to find the first note of the song. It's usually somewhere in the chord. First note here is an A. He's got the whole for me. So there's my starting point. So once I get that. I know I've got a good start. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 Don't be afraid to sing. You've got a great voice. It's your voice. Nobody else has it. If you get it out there, if you sing in tune, and breathe at the right time, people are going to enjoy it. Here, I'll do it again, just to be sure. That was a good clap. I can do that all day long. <laughs>